Hello Commanders and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Odyssey. So this time I'm gonna show you how to edit your hot colors in advanced mode. This is a mod and you need 3D Mikoto for that. But first I'm gonna show you, I have really nice colors in here. I uh, made this myself, this um, team. I'm not completely happy with all of them, like some of the colors I don't understand where they're coming from. Like this one in the middle, uh, ship secured, it's uh, this light blue, I have no idea where it's coming from. And no, it's not the same as the shields. The shield colors, you can uh, even do multi colors and uh, all that. Like these uh, distributor colors, as you can see. See, it's like um, uh, faded out. You can have them either three colors, faded, or just a single color like it is originally. The fuel colors and stuff, I made all that different. And as you can see, all the... Um, icons and all that these are the panels in here and same in here i don't know where this uh, light blue this uh, cyan is coming from this explorer rank and exobiologist rank uh, there was also cyan in here i was able to get rid of that so that looks pretty nice now all the effects and everything it's pretty nice i have to say and if we're gonna go on foot Actually, why not show you the SRV too, because uh, that also looks cool. As you can see, all the wave scanner, the radar, and then the light icon, look on the top right. This is the half beams and the full beams, it turns blue, like in real life. But anyway, that's how the SRV looks like. And there is one more thing I want to show you, the turret, of course. This is the turret colors, that's the combat mode, which is pretty cool, I made it red. And if you switch to analysis mode, then it's green. So it's, you know, pretty, pretty nice, but again, this uh, cyan color, I don't know where that's coming from. I will show you in a second how to uh, change all that. But also, the best thing is the night vision. Look at that, guys. That is my custom night vision. I tried to make it kind of like this uh, white uh, phosphorus. I really like that color. Little bit uh, added blue. It's pretty, pretty nice, as you can see. If I turn it off, you can't see anything at all. And that is a beautiful sight. But um, I specifically went to this place so you can see how the night vision looks like and all that. And it is pretty impressive. So, and this is my uh, suit colors. If you put the shields on, that's how it looks like. I made it specifically light blue. And this is off. Uh, this oxygen color, that yellow, I have no idea where that is coming from either. That's also something I have absolutely no idea of. And as you can see, the same night vision in here. It really makes a difference. It's really nice. Uh, it's three times more brighter than the original one. And finally, I can see things. It's, it's not, you know, as bad as the original one. So it makes it a lot um, nicer. And here's also the menus for the... Um, on foot, while you're on foot, pretty nice. Again, I don't know wh where this is coming from, this gray, but uh, it actually looks nice. Maybe I did change it somewhere, but uh, there's a lot of options. So now that you have seen my colors and all, I'm going to show you how to do all that. All right, so let me show you how to get this stuff and how to do everything. The first step would be to get the 3D uh, Mikoto. But it is included in another package. This is a mod. This is not just some kind of a config. So um, the best thing is to download EDHMUI version. This guy in here, he has included all the files in here. This is all you need in here. Just this uh, zip file. I don't like setup files because it's going to just make a mess. So I don't want that. So download this uh, loose files. I already have this. So that's all you need. Download this. Once you've done that, then extract the files. This is what you get. All of these files are in that package. And then all you need to do is uh, run this UI in here. All right, so on some reason it wants to connect to internet. Um, probably it wants to download more teams or something. But anyway, that's not important because um, I made my own and that's all that matters. But anyway, the first step is to go into main menu, into settings, and then you have to set your horizons and other say paths in here. This is uh, different if you're not on Steam, but I mean, if you don't know where you install your stuff, then you should probably not be doing stuff like this anyway. So anyway, once you set these, click save settings, that's all you need. And then it's going to install the files. As you can see, this is my Odyssey path in here. It's going to make a folder here. It's going to add uh, these files in here. 
like I said, it's a mod. It's not just, uh, you know, the, um, some kind of a hot setting or something like this. And yes, it is allowed. There is a topic about it on the forum too. But I just wanted to make my own tutorial and just show everything step by step. So, once you've done with that, then you can apply the themes from here. I'm going to just show you real quick. I'm going to enable this one. Uh, apply theme. That's a default one. And once it says blah blah blah, it's added. Then we press F11, which is the default key. And as you can see, the theme changes. And let's put mine back, which is this one. Let's apply it. There we go. Go back, F11. And my colors are back. Let's see if my night vision stayed. You can't actually change the night vision color by default. I mean the brightness, you can't change it. But uh, anyway, let's move on with this. So once you've gotten this far, then the best thing to do is uh, find one of the themes that suits you. Something that you like. So it gives you idea what it might look like. So you load that theme. There was about 20 of them originally. And once you're happy with that, then just uh, edit that one. Before you start editing, I'm gonna show you how to manually save the profiles. So, on some reason, it didn't save my profile, but the settings are saved right in here, in my profiles. Don't touch anything in that uh, EDHM uh, UI. Make a new folder in here, whatever you want. Blah, 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 something like this. Well, uh, obviously, I don't want that. I made this one, set the use one. And then what you need to do is copy these files from here, copy all of them, go into my profiles, into your profile and paste them all in here. Obviously it's gonna be empty if you create it, but this is how you do it, okay? And that's all you need to do because the changes are made in these files in here. So for example, if I open this one and we look for, um, let's say, uh, there we go, that's the, um, fuel gauge I believe no that's the for the next jump uh, that's the fuel bar in here so for example if we will change uh, let's put one rate in here and save the file go into game press f11 keep your eye on the fuel gauge see it changed well maybe not that good change but let's uh, change a little bit more let's change this back to zero and then change uh, let's add some blue to it let's add two blue save and then reload there you go see it's purple now you can make the changes directly in this file in here and then you reload and it's going to make the changes in the game so you technically don't even need this uh, ui but this makes it simpler it gives you an idea what is what so it's a lot easier to edit but if you edit these files directly then that's how the changes work and in order for you to uh, convert your old file, the old uh, hard, if you're using it, I used the generic uh, XML trick before, the graphics configuration override. This is the default method to change the you know, the um, hard. This is my uh, purple backup file. So if you open this one, then that's what I have in here. For you, it will be just a normal one, but for me, it's blank because it's going to conflict with this mod. So it's better if you just delete this file from here. Just make a backup and then delete it, just like I did. But uh, if you want to convert this into the mod, then you copy these lines, only these three lines. You copy these, okay? You copy those and then you can uh, convert them in here or you can go in this um, UI in here and we click on that one paste it in here, click import, and it's going to change the colors to whatever you need. Then you click save and exit, and that's it, it's done. That's all you need to do, guys, okay? I'm not going to do this because I have already done that. And this is going to make the uh, values appear in here, in this file. Like I showed you this one in, whoops, that's the wrong one, I don't need this one anymore. Uh, that one in here. So that's how you convert your previous hard to this one. It's not uh, a must-have thing. You can configure it, uh, you know, manually, whatever you like. But uh, if you're using one, then it's best to just convert it. And then you can move on with the uh, rest of the stuff in here. So you can uh, customize whatever you want in here. Power distributors. This is what I was talking about. You can have a three color option. You have to uh, choose it from here first. Uh, why is it? Custom single color. That is weird. It shouldn't be. 
Mm, okay, I think something messed up because I uh, I was loading the different uh, teams and stuff. Let's see if it's still there. Yeah, it is. I think the problem was that I was loading the different teams and it just can't see it. So I have to just restart it and that should fix it. All right, I just restarted it. Let's see if it's... Uh, yeah, that's it. Now it's correct values. So if you have any problems, then just reload the UI. But remember, make backup of these files once you have whatever you like, because uh, it's not going to save you properly. But anyway, here you can visually change what colors you want. You can click on these, you can choose the colors, whatever you want. You can even have this uh, hue wheel in here, the R RGB hue wheel thing. You can select whatever color you want. It's not always exactly as it appears in the game. Uh, that's why it's quite important to have the game actually running and then you can just press F11 to refresh and then you can see the stuff, you know, the changes. You can even change the cabin lighting. You can even have different uh, left and uh, right colors. So if you know what you're doing, you can change the values manually from this file without even touching the UI. This thing keeps resetting on some reason because you can't change this um, in the um, thing in here. I don't know why it's not there, but... Um, Okay, and also night vision. I believe I showed it. Uh, it's in here night vision brightness Also, you can't change this in the UI. So you have to do it manually from the file. It's this in here You can change it really really bright for example um, Let me show you. Let's put a little bit more red. Let's put a lot of red. Okay, save and let's check this now and There you go. <laughs> That's how it looks like <laughs> kind of pink. Holy wow <laughs> I bet all the girls like that, but okay. Uh, okay, let's change this back. That was just as a joke. But yeah, the default night vision would be 1. And this is how it looks like. That's kind of lame, isn't it? And this is my night vision. That is a lot nicer. And yeah, another thing that didn't change was this one. The charging thing. You can ch uh, search it in here charging let's see where it is um fsd uh, charging bar see it doesn't have a brightness level i don't know why it's not included in here that is so weird but yeah some of the values don't show up in here you can also remove these from the galaxy map oh yeah i didn't show you guys this is how the galaxy map looks like you can change all the icons everything i kind of like the default the engineer icons and stuff might change them to something else but um I kind of like it, you know, it looks pretty nice the way it is. But alright guys, this is all you need to know, so you just have to go through everything, just uh, test whatever you like, it does take some time, I spent over 5 hours on customizing this team the way I like it. And there are yeah, still some things I can't find, so if anyone can point it out, where is this uh, cyan color coming from? Ship secured, hold R to launch, I have absolutely no freaking idea where that is coming from. And same thing uh, with these things in here, the explorer rank and the biologist rank, I don't know where this cyan is coming from. There is one option to uh, change this one in here, that these are cyan, these things I'm cycling through. And there is an option for that, but I don't know where these colors are coming from. If I would have to take a guess, I think it's a mix of something that I messed up somewhere, but I just can't find it. Like some of the colors, they are not exactly what you uh, select them to be. They are like mix of two colors, you know. It kind of mixes two colors together and that's the result. Like that yellow in the oxygen bar when you're on foot. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh yeah, and you can also uh, remove this super crew snow and space dust. It's, it's like the indicator that you're actually moving, but I kind of like it. But you can get rid of it if you don't like it. And another cool thing is these uh, shimmering lines. It's like what you have on the um, holograms, you know. This is pretty cool to uh, get rid of that. I never liked that. It's it's kind of, you know, I don't know. I just don't like it, okay. This is the multi-shield I was talking about. So you can change the shield in here. You have to select the mode you want. The multi-shield is this in here. And you can change different colors for each uh, shield line. The same thing works on foot too, but I like single color. It's, you know, getting too colorful. It's it's not too good to have too much of it, you know. 
Uh, this is the option I was looking for. Replace cyan elements on ship side panels. Turning this on will uh, color the cyan rank icons parts of the icon on the nav panel with your XML and cyan. So I don't know if that's that's what it means, the middle one, but it's just not going away. Like I said, it makes uh, this go away, the side panel in here. It makes that go away, but it doesn't make this go away. And originally it wasn't even light blue, so I... I, I have no idea, man. It, it's just bugging me. So if anyone knows, then please do leave a comment. But well, guys, I hope this has been useful. That's all you need to know how to edit the stuff. Once you know how it works, then it's better to just uh, make the changes directly in this file, you know. It's a lot faster too, because the interface takes a while to uh, apply and copy and paste all the files and stuff, you know. So it's better to just find whatever you want. As you can see, it's uh, commented out all the lines that you uh, need. So you can just use the search function, uh, like I showed before, like the frame shift uh, drive charging, you can change it directly in here, night vision, whatever you want, you know. I'm not even using the interface anymore, I just used it to set up the initial uh, layout, and now I'm just using the file directly and making the changes to um, whatever I like. But anyway, commanders, hope this is helpful, and well, I will see you out there.